Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's idea, we're going to go ahead and show you a new feature that TradingView has recently rolled out called the News Flow. Now, being up to date is essential in the world of trading. That's why getting the latest news has become a priority from TradingView. And after months of hard work, they are finally ready to show you the results. And it's basically what they call the News Flow. Now, the newest screener is designed specifically so you don't have to miss out on the most essential updates from the world financial news. This will help you stay on top of what's crucial for your analysis. The news screener will offer a range of filters, allowing you to customize the news flow according to your interests or watch list. Opening news in a split screen will also save you time by avoiding from switching between different news pages, allowing you to stay focused. So let's take a closer look at the new news flow screener that has been rolled out recently by TradingView. So right now we're going to go to TradingView.com and you'll see on here on the products menu, You'll see where it says news flow, which is currently in beta at this very moment. So pretty straightforward. We're going to go and select news flow and let's go ahead and demonstrate how to use it. So what you can do first is a couple things. If you already have a you know compile of different watch lists that you already created within your trading view workspace, they'll automatically be listed in this watch list section here on the top left corner. So if I hit the drop down menu, you'll notice where I have my AMP created watch list. So for example, if I create, if I hit AMP, this is my watch list here, my AMP watch list. You can see that it's mainly micro and mini index products and only news reports will be populated specifically for the instruments that I have added into my watch list. Now, if you don't want the news to be populated specific on your watch list, you can always reset the filters. I just wanted to demonstrate first that you're able to do that if you have, you know, if you compiled or created different watch lists for different purposes, for example, for example, let's say energy products, metals or index products, you can easily access those created lists. From your watch list here now you can just hit reset all to reset the filter and what that's going to do is just basically list all the available news that you have access to and from top to bottom it'll be the most recent at the top and the oldest at the bottom as far as accessing a news release it's pretty straightforward all you need to do is simply just click on the actual news article it'll actually tell you who that article is created from in this case reuters you can see here the actual article title and you can read the contents of the actual article and news report itself so very straightforward allows you to still see all the different news releases on the left side and you can just simply click on any of them and as as i mentioned in the beginning of this idea it'll give you like a split screen so you can easily navigate and pick different news articles and you can read them on the fly now let's go over some of the different filters we won't spend too much time on this idea it's pretty straightforward but the main thing is understanding where to go to access this news flow but also using some of the filters. So if you see here, if I hit this little drop down menu, you can choose different instruments that you've been, you know, commonly been using in your trading view workspace. So let's just say, for example, if I'm only interested in seeing news articles that are related to the S&P 500, I can simply select, let's say MES, for example, and now it's only going to generate articles that are specific to the S&P 500. Now, keep in mind, just because we chose the micro S&P 500, it's not going to be exclusive for the, mini, the micro S&P 500. It's anything that's S&P 500 related. So you can see here S&P 500, S&P 500. So a lot of it is going to be mainly equity based for the New York Stock Exchange when it talks about the S&P 500. But same concept, you'll just be simply clicking on any news article that you want to read about and you'll be able to see who the author is or, or who the source is for that particular news release and you can read the contents of that news release pretty quickly now if you want to reset any individual filters you can hit the drop down here and you'll see there's a little reset button at the top that allows you to reset individual filters so whenever you set a filter you'll see to the right here a little button that will populate that'll say reset all so here's an example if i go to market let's just say i just filter to futures only now you'll see a reset all button appear Let's say corporate activity. Let's just say, for example, just press releases. So these are just basic examples. So you can see nothing there. So let's just say we reset this and let's choose a different option. Let's just do, for example, analysis recommendations. All right. And now you see that only news articles will be filtered based on the filters that you have set. So again, if you want to reset everything, you can reset all or you can click the individual drop downs for each of the filtering groups and you can just reset specifically for that category group. So in this case, if I want to look at all the different assets, for example, stocks, ETFs, futures, and more, I can hit reset here. And now you can see that my analysis recommendations filter is still set. But for the market, it's been reset to see all the different asset classes that are available to me. So this is pretty much how you access the news flow. Again, you're going to go to tradingview.com, which I'm going to show you one more time real quick. It's under the product section here. You'll see at the bottom here where it shows news flow. And this will be 
well on your way as far as accessing the new beta feature called Newsflow. And this is how you access the new Newsflow feature using the TradingView platform.